Access to fresh, clean drinking water is the defining issue of the 21st century. Industrial scale water use, diversion, and climate change are the three driving factors behind this issue. In the last 20 years, we have seen extreme overharvesting and diversion of rivers. Many of the world's largest rivers, such as the Colorado, Yellow, Ganges, and Nile, no longer reach the sea for at least part of the year. Rivers are also being used as a dumping ground for residential, commercial, and industrial waste. Another water issue facing the world today is the depletion of underground aquifers. Aquifers are essentially large, naturally occurring water storage systems underground. They fill by absorbing water traveling through permeable rock. Recently, pumping from aquifers has been increasing and the world is beginning to see water scarcity due to taking water from aquifers faster than it can be replaced. Luckily, there are things that people can do in their own homes to help reduce their water consumption and conserve water. One thing you can do is to fill a plastic bottle with sand and water and place it in your toilet tank. This reduces the amount of water used per flush and can save your household both water and money. There are even products available for this exact use. Another simple way to conserve water in your home is to fill a pan with water and wash your fruits and vegetables in the pan instead of washing them under a running faucet, which can waste which can waste a lot of water. Once you have cleaned your fruits and veggies, you can also use this water for other things, such as watering your garden. A final way you can reduce water consumption in your home is by turning off the faucet while you are scrubbing your dirty dishes. All three of these things are simple, effective ways of reducing the water footprint of your home and the size of your water bill. Water distribution in Costa Rica is handled locally by each individual municipality. The organization in Monteverde is called Aqueducto Santa Elena. They monitor and distribute water to the entire Monteverde area. Their data tells us that the sector responsible for the largest consumption of water is domestic use. Water use in homes is consistently higher than that in all other sectors, including commercial, governmental, and industrial. On a yearly basis, domestic water use is 10 times greater than water use in every other sector. Our rainwater system is located at Bajo del Tigre in Monteverde, Costa Rica. The system collects water from the roof and directs it to the gutters and into the flush tank. The flush tank is used to filter out debris that comes from the roof. The water then flows into the main storage tank and into the system. We used a pump powered by a solar panel to increase the pressure of the system to operate the sprinklers. We needed a charge controller to control the flow of energy from the solar panel to the battery so that the battery does not become overloaded. The major maintenance problem presented by every rainwater system is trying to figure out how to keep leaves and other debris out of the system. There are a couple of options you have when trying to keep leaves out of your system depending on the level of maintenance you can supply. The simplest solution, and the one that we decided to go with, was putting a wire mesh over the gutters to keep large debris, such as leaves and twigs, out of the system. To make sure that the wire mesh does not become clogged, someone will have to clear away the leaves about twice a year. Another option is to put a piece of wire mesh over the end of the gutter, where the downspout into the flush tank meets the gutter. This will prevent leaves from getting into the system as well, but it will require cleaning slightly more often than the other wire mesh system. A final gutter maintenance system that we considered was installing a gutter cleaner into the gutters and cleaning the leaves out of the gutters at least once a month manually. However, this option required more manual labor than we were able to provide. Shutoff valves are another important aspect of maintenance for rainwater systems. You must have ways to stop the flow of water to all or part of your system if you ever need to make an alteration or update the system. They are also important if your system becomes full and you need to release water. Another important feature of rainwater systems necessary for maintenance is the flush tank. This is the part of the system that collects the debris coming from the roof and prevents it from getting into the rest of the system. The flush tank is important for keeping leaves from clogging up the system, but three or four times a year the flush tank must be cleaned out. This is done by opening up the shutoff valve located at the bottom of the tank and releasing the water and collected debris into the outflow pipe, which is a pipe on the ground that takes the water away from the site and into a proper disposal location.
Rainwater systems are an excellent way to use local water resources and conserve water, and with proper maintenance, they can remain operational for decades.